So, what people don't know, like, if you look this way, when it comes to the tornado I posted about, is we were watching it come towards, it was an F2. Um, it literally went back over our house, but when it came over, because tornado skipped. When it touched back down again, it came into this wooded area. And this was, these trees were 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 feet high. Like, when we had wildlife, we had a family of foxes that lived in the corner of our yard. We didn't mess with them. You could walk, come out here and watch them play with their babies, and all that's been dispersed. Um, there are homes that have been totaled out. We've been lucky, and I don't, I don't want to sit here and cry about a pool. Or, but me and my wife, we worked hard to have our dream home. We, we worked very hard. Underneath there was an entire greenhouse where we were starting to grow our own food <laughs> for obvious reasons. It had electrical and plumbing. That is gone. That's decimated. That was a chicken coop. I was getting ready to get my chickens out here so I can have a protein on my land. And then you can see up there where the tree struck. And it, it took out our deck in the back and went a little bit through the roof and all that. But it could have been worse for us. It was a lot worse for other people. As the tornado traveled this way, because you can see how all the trees are laying this way, it came back up. And there's a house, not a couple houses down where that brown tarp is at, where it came back over the complex. And luckily, the, the two houses that got hit the hardest, the families were both on spring break. So it wasn't nothing but a blessing. And I don't care how what people respectfully believe in, it was God. So we lucky to be here, for sure.